Hello, wonderful people. If you are new here, hello, my name is Joanna. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how I remedy a really bad hair day. So, this is what we are currently working with. It's not a lot to work with, if I'm being quite honest. This is only day two hair, but unfortunately yesterday I went to go sit on our new uh, couch and my body sank in and I fell asleep. I hate myself. So I fell asleep with wet hair and I woke up with not very pretty hair and it dried, eventually it did dry to look like this. I'm not going to be calling this refresh just because whenever I refresh, I'm usually working with something already. Like I have a curl pattern or a wave pattern that I want to revive. I have really nothing in this that I want to revive, but it's also only day two hair. So I don't want to go ahead and wash my hair because I don't want to further dry out my hair. So I think that is a bit of a problem here. It's a little bit dry. So what I'm going to do instead is completely wet my hair, which the difference between that and my right. Hello, Cicada. And the difference between getting my hair fully wet and refresh is just whenever I refresh, I only get my hair slightly damp. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in the shower. I'll be back in just a hot minute and we will work with that. I made the fatal mistake of putting on makeup and thinking my hair would stay soaking wet. It did not, so I just went back and re-wet it. So now my hair is soaking wet. Now I'm going to take my Verb Leave-In Conditioner. I'm going to be using this because it is a milky leave-in, so it has more of a watery consistency. And I don't need another styling product in my hair by any means because I still have the styling product that I put in my hair yesterday still in my hair. So I just need a product with a bit thinner consistency just to kind of give my hair a little bit of oomph and support the hair product that is already previously in there. So we're just going to go ahead and scrunch this into the soaking wet hair. And since this product is a bit waterier, I'm not afraid to bring it up into my roots. And that's quite literally all I do. Now, of course, in this drying period, I'm going to hardcore baby my hair not going to do anything that would compromise the curl pattern or the wave pattern. Just not going to take a nap on the couch, not going to put it up, just going to let it do its thing and air dry. And of course, if you wanted to, you could totally skip the air drying time and just diffuse your hair, but that's a lot of time and I have to be a domestic goddess of sorts and do household chores, so would much rather just let it air dry while I walk around the house and do stuff. Arguably, if you diffuse, you probably would get more defined results. I'm not particularly looking for definition. I'm just looking for cohesiveness. I'm looking for it to look nicer than it did. So I'm going to go ahead and let my hair air dry and I will see you guys when it is fully dried. Hello, you guys. My hair is now fully dried. And I just got my aunt renewed. <laughs> and I just got my aunt license renewed for the fifth time. So that's absolutely wonderful and awesome. Someone's doing yard work, I think. Is that what that noise is? I don't know what they always seem to be doing this time of day, and I never see any progress made around the neighborhood, so... I don't know if it's an outdoor activity or an indoor activity. There it goes again. Could we not? It's nearly 5 o'clock. Absolutely unnecessary. Anyways, now that my hair is fully dried, I can do my little thing. Like I said, I'm going for a more cohesive style. I wasn't really going for definition today. I wouldn't have used a leave-in if I wanted definition. My hair just doesn't get clumpy with a leave-in. I'm going to do a little finger jigger to make it not so frizzy. Unfortunately, since I've been running around and doing housework, my hair has gotten a little bit frizzier than I would have cared for. If I just sat down and like tittled on my laptop, I probably would have been absolutely fine, but I made a project out of cleaning the grill, or grill stove. So to counteract this frizziness, I am taking my Innate Life Rose Hair Elixir and I'm just going to glide it over my hair very lightly and scrunch it in a little bit just to, you know, make it look a little bit less poofy. I say poofy, it's not really poofy, it's just frizzy. And I really don't mind frizz, I'm quite honest. I do think frizz equals volume. There's productive frizz and then there's just frizz. Here is the final result. I hope this little tutorial how to, I'm not sure what to label this, was helpful for you guys in any sort of way. Really easy and simple to do. That's what I've been doing quite a bit unfortunately lately. Outside napping on the couch, it's just been so humid out that my hair dries 
not the way I'm expecting it to at all, most days. So I end up doing like a full blown redo. But anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you guys in any way. If it was, maybe give this video a like, maybe subscribe. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful month, a wonderful year, a wonderful whatever timeline you are on. And I will see you guys in the next video.